næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde dig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. Today's video is about Tesla's new production plant in Grunheide near Berlin and the problems that this project has encountered. Tesla chose the Grunheide due to its proximity to Berlin and the availability of a skilled workforce, transportation networks, and potential customers. The facility is situated on about 300 hectares of land. The Gigafactory Berlin is designed to produce batteries, battery packs, and powertrains, in addition to assembling the Tesla Model Y initially, with potential for other models in the future. While exact production numbers can vary based on various factors, Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, mentioned in the past that the factory would have a capacity to produce up to 500,000 cars annually when it reaches full production. Tesla intended for Giga Berlin to be one of its most sustainable facilities. The plan involved incorporating renewable energy, water recycling systems, and other eco-friendly features into the facility. The construction and opening of the factory faced several challenges, ranging from regulatory and environmental approval processes to local concerns about water usage and wildlife preservation. Tesla has been working to address these concerns in collaboration with local authorities and stakeholders. The facility was expected to bring significant economic benefits to the region, including job creation and increased local investment. Tesla has several production facilities around the world. Here's a summary of some of them. Fremont Factory, California, USA. Size, approximate 5.3 million square feet of manufacturing and office space on a 370-acre land. Products, Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y, and other components. Giga Shanghai, or Giga Factory 3, Shanghai, China. Size, situated on a 210-acre plot of land. Products, Model 3 and Model Y, primarily for the Chinese and certain other markets. Giga Berlin, or Giga Factory 4, Grunheide, Germany, is massive, with the site spanning approximately 300 hectares, 740 acres. Products, initially, the production focus is on the Model Y, Grunheide is thus one of Tesla's biggest plants. But things are not going that well in Grunheide. Perhaps because the German requirements are higher than, for instance, those in China. Here is what the respected German newspaper Tagesspiegel from September 29th this year writes. I have translated it into English from German. Elon Musk is now putting fear into the German automotive industry with the Tesla factory in Grunheide, Brandenburg. But now allegations have been made again against the U.S. electric car manufacturer and also the Brandenburg's government. According to a current report in the German magazine Stern, there are regularly serious violations of environmental and occupational health and safety regulations at the plant and a noticeable number of accidents, risks for employees, residents, and the environment. Federal Labor Minister Hubertus Heil, SPD, was concerned. In Germany, occupational safety also protects lives when in doubt, and that is why I am deeply concerned about the news that has come to the public about a large company, Heil told RTL and NTV, two German TV stations. He expects consistent country controls. The Bundestag parliamentary group leader of the left party, Dietmar Bartsch, suggested an independent review. If the conditions cannot be improved quickly, there should ultimately be a debate about revoking the operating license, Bartsch told Stern. We have been concerned about occupational safety at Tesla in Grunheide for a long time, says Dirk Schulz, IG Metal, the trade union organizing the workers at Grunheide, district manager for Berlin, Brandenburg, and Saxony. Brandenburg's responsible ministries and the U.S. company itself rejected the allegations on Thursday. Tesla and Brandenburg's authorities take occupational safety and environmental protection very seriously. Specifically, according to Stern, citing a list of authorities, there have now been 26 environmental accidents in the factory, which is partly located in the drinking water protection area and has been producing since March 2022 some with leaked liquids. None of the incidents were incidents, Tesla said. Furthermore, none of these incidents resulted in environmental damage. 
All cases were investigated and processed internally and, where necessary, processes and organizational structures were adjusted. According to research by Stern, which temporarily infiltrated two journalists into the company, the number of work accidents is said to be noticeably high, three times as high as at the Audi plant in Ingolstadt. On Thursday, IG Metal called on Tesla management to immediately remedy the grievances. Health comes before profit, that also applies to Tesla and Grunheide, explained Dirk Schulz, IG Metal district manager for Berlin, Brandenburg, and Saxony. We have been concerned about occupational safety at Tesla in Grunheide for a long time. Numerous employees report to us about accidents and health problems. In some areas, this leads to sickness rates of up to 40%. Instead of addressing the causes, management reacts by putting pressure on the sick, explained Schulz. And those who are still healthy are encouraged to produce the same quantities with fewer staff. The biggest concern is that someone will die at some point. A noticeable number of work accidents in the Tesla factory in Brandenburg. According to Tesla, 5,000 Model Y electric cars have been rolling off the assembly line every week in Grunheide since April 2023. It is now the largest plant in the Berlin region with 11, 5,000 employees, 1,000 were previously unemployed, and many are unskilled. According to Stern, which cites emergency service protocols, an ambulance or helicopter has been requested 247 times since it opened. Brandenburg's Ministry of Health under Minister Ursula Nanemacher, belonging to the Green Party, on the other hand, points out that, despite its size, the Tesla factory is not attracting attention from the State Office for Occupational Safety with an increase in serious accidents, on the contrary. According to the ministry, there were six serious accidents during the construction period in 2021 and six in 2022 for involving employees of construction and assembly companies on the site and one case so far this year. In total, Tesla had only seven serious work accidents in three years. There are said to have been 26 environmental accidents at the Tesla factory since March 2022. The spicy thing, the plant is located in a drinking water protection area. The Ministry of Health also strictly rejects the accusation of a lack of monitoring. Checks are being carried out at least every two weeks, said a spokesman. In addition, event-related visits are carried out every six to eight weeks, which are unannounced. Hardly any other company in Brandenburg is as intensively, closely, and regularly inspected and advised by the Occupational Safety Authority as the Tesla factory in Grunheide. Thank you for watching my video about the problems for Tesla of living up to Germany's environmental and worker safety requirements. Please subscribe to my video and comment on it. I am motivated by the many positive comments I get for my videos.